Hey everyone, uh, just want to give you a quick update. If you're a DJI Spark owner like myself, there was a new firmware update or actually software update, version 4.1.9 that was released just a few hours ago, earlier today. Um, in the US, the app appears to be available on the App Store for download. Uh, I'm not sure if it's available to Euro the European uh, customers as of yet. But what I did was I downloaded the app. I did a couple screenshots uh, from my phone with the latest software installed. I also saw a press, re uh, a press release uh, that was uh, done at the uh, IFA uh, conference, which was apparently in Berlin earlier today. I, it doesn't look like, it was a little confusing reading through the notes on their website, it appeared that maybe the updates were part of this software app update, um, but I'm not seeing it in the 4.1.9. It would appear that perhaps these updates that they're referring to in the press release at the IFA, um, one was called a paper plane flight mode, where you could, um, it's a new mode that will allow users to launch the drone in a forward motion, like flying a paper plane. I didn't see that that particular mode available in the 4.1.9 and they make reference, they also made reference in this press release about a uh, sphere mode which will be added to the panoramic photo feature enabling users to produce a panoramic photo with a fisheye lens effect. Both features will be included soon in the forthcoming DJI GO 4 mobile app and Spark firmware updates. But again, from what I can tell in the downloads, uh, the download that I've done on the 4.1.9 I didn't see either of these features available as of yet. So the press release was a little confusing. I was expecting to see it when I downloaded it, uh, but I did not. And the other thing that I wanted to make note of was, uh, again, when you download the app, um, there was some additional information that I saw on the App Store regarding what they did with the 4.1.9 uh, capture, blah, blah, blah. It says, um, DJI GO 4 app has been optimized for all DJI's latest products. These include Phantom 4 Series, Mavic Pro, Inspire 2, uh, and provides near real-time image transmission and camera setting adjustments as well as editing and more. Um, what's new? This is again August 31st, 2017. Added new notifications to improve flight safety and user experience, as well as a bunch of bug fixes. Um, I did some, like I said, screenshots from the mobile app store when I downloaded the app, so you can uh, pause the video or take a look at that further if you don't have the uh, app yet available in the area which you're located. Uh, again, this is um, what I downloaded uh, in the U.S. So. Uh, feel free to kind of scroll through the information I have on here, but that's all I have so far. Um, it says uh, it provides near real-time image transmission and camera setting adjustments as well as editing and sharing of serial imagery. Um, includes features as all new home page and UI, near real time HD image transmission, camera settings and adjustments, updated playback interface, updated editor, improved UI, more templates and music tracks and editor, convenient video downloading, editing and sharing, integrated live streaming, near real time flight data recording. So that's the description as I'm reading it off the app when you download it from the app store. Um, but again, the one thing I did notice as well when I did the download, uh, I had to reboot the Spark after the download, but also it appears that it didn't recognize the password for my remote controller. I, have the, I bought the combo pack with the remote controller and I had to uh, get the box out to find the serial number or passcode. Uh, and input that back in. So it appears it maybe kicked that information out and had to be re-entered. I hope this information is helpful. Uh, again, pause the screen if you need to go back and look at this stuff. All right, see you guys.